Welcome guys, it is the X-Man here, and today we have got some uh, some news. We're just doing a kind of review on this um, much hyped kind of content reveal from Wildcard. I don't know we do videos like this, we know we do gameplay and stuff, but uh, I feel like I need to because we got hyped about this. They sent us like an image of a few dinos in silhouettes and we could all kind of guess what they were and it was life finds a way. We all thought we were going to get some new creatures into the game, maybe even a, a sneak peek into Extinction DLC, but we didn't. Instead we got a trailer which we'll be playing in the background right now. So first off the trailer comes out and it's like okay we have got uh, some new dinos, we've got a tech rex, we've got baby tech, tech rexes as well, but once you look further into that you realise these are just skins. There is no new creatures at all. It's just skins. Three creatures. The Bronto, the Pachycephalosaurus and the Trike have got skins. Which mean that the Bronto becomes a Brachiosaurus. The um, Pachycephalosaurus becomes the... I can't even remember what the guy's name is. The Sty... What have we got? The, the Stai Giga Moloch or something like that? I always thought it was a Draco Rex, but it's kind of... They're, they're similar anyway. And then the uh, Trike becomes a Styrophosaurus. Th that, that's it. They're just skins. There is nothing unique about them at all. They are just skins. They also give us the, uh, the Dilophosaurus mask, which is a hat skin. That means that looks okay. I've seen mods that do that. Um, they're kind of behind on that. And then they give us the Rex, the Tech Rex that will spawn in the wild. It has some like a 5 or 10% chance of spawning like where a Rex would normally spawn. And you can have them and make babies and stuff, which I suppose that's kind of cool. But the rest of like, there was a freaking timer on this that everyone was hyped for. Like YouTubers were doing live streams waiting <laughs> for this content to drop and show the world it like, look, a new trailer for extinction or here's some new creatures anything and we got skins like honestly i'm so disappointed they could have easily made these into their own creatures and released them because surely the um the animation is there all they've done is reskinned it why could they've packaged that as a different creature they don't even have to give it abilities like arc is a good game don't get me wrong we all love arc obviously it has its moments and stuff like that but it's in the decline. We all know this. It's not had any major content updates in forever. I mean, they've been working on uh, fixing servers, fixing bugs, stuff like that. They've been adding random servers like the Ark Apocalypse, the Small Tribe um, servers as well, which are okay. It kind of brings players back into it and stuff like that. But we want more content. <laughs> we love this game. Obviously, we wait for the DLC. Just whack a few dinos in there. I, I just, I don't see the logic behind what they've done. So they called it, what was it, they, the Ark, um, the Archaeology event. And it looks like, so what you got to do is you find, like, mounds of dirt. Or I'm not sure what they're calling it. And, or fossil mounds, that's what they're calling it. And then you have to, like, dig inside it and you'll find some bones. And if you're lucky enough, you'll find extra loot inside of them. Um, which you then put in a cooking pot and make the skin. It's... <laughs> that's all it is. They hyped an event up. That's just what I want to put across. This is no DLC, no teaser, trailer kind of thing. It is just an event. That's all it is for some freaking skins. They could release these any time. There was no need to put this big hype. I don't know if they meant to hype it up that much, but I feel like they did. Because who puts a timer up? I'm not gonna, they didn't even get it on time with a timer. Everyone was sat there for a, fair, a good, what, 10 minutes of their time had done. Their website crashed, everything went to shit. And then we got the video showing the skins. And I'm not the only one disappointed. Uh, going on the Steam, on the discussion page, going all over Twitter, everyone is pissed. There's a couple of people out there like, yay, skins, but you suck <laughs> if you think the hype was worth a few skins. I mean, uh, like, whack a few pictures up now, like, they, the skins look good. Like, they look like cool creatures, but I just, I don't get why they didn't release them as individual creatures. It honestly just baffles me. They've spent all this time making them, 
and then they're not going to release them as an official creature. Like, if it was me, right, Brachiosaurus, make its hair neck a little bit longer, and then maybe give it, I don't know, some kind of ability. I'm not sure what it would be off the top of my head. The, uh, the Sty Giga Bollock thing, I would have that breaking bones. The Jurassic Park mod we play with, the Ankylosaurus on that, if it hits you it'll break your bone, it slows you down, you can only do a walking pace which I think is really cool. Uh, the the uh, um you, I don't know what you could do with that. <laughs> I mean we have quite a lot of tribe things like a charge attack or something or I don't know like the Pachyrhinosaurus has a very weird like uh, it does that weird dust cloud kind of thing in above that drains your stamina I'd like wax them on like that. The, you, I don't know, you could break bones and it or piercing effect or something like that, you know, like the Kentra has. Um, I don't know, do something like that. It, it, surely it's not that hard. They've got the resources. They must have spent forever doing this. And it is just a massive flop. It really is. Um, I'm actually disappointed. I was going to do a video on just showing the skins off, but I'm, I'm not going to waste my time with it. I'm not going to lie. Um, I did quickly go on and see if we could find any spawn codes. It's just been released, so I couldn't find them just yet. Um, I mean, look, you can see on the pictures here, like, that's all it is. They have the same animations as the normal creatures, like the trike, the uh, Pachycephalosaurus and the Bronto. <laughs> that's, it's just, it baffles me why they hyped this so much. But, uh, you know, there we go. They, I feel like they're, they're, they're just screwing people over. They really are screwing their fan base and their player base over, because... Like I said, Ark's in decline, and we need they need Summit to bring it back up. I know the DLC is going to do that, but we're waiting on it. Aberration was okay. It kind of didn't last very long at all. Um, that was quite hyped up as well. I feel like they, they keep hyping stuff up too much. They, they just need to work on it secret and just go, here's a new patch, here's some skins, or here's a couple of new creatures. That's what brings players back and want to play it again. Uh, it's, uh, honestly, the event, it, it sucks. It, it's really bad. I'm not sure why they've done it. <laughs> like, I I don't know. Anyway, that's wild card for us. So, yeah, let me know. Are you, um, are you disappointed by this? Or do you think this is a, do you think this is a good event? Because, I don't know, I want to hear from you a lot. Um, <laughs> it's a bit of a different video. We, we don't normally, we don't normally just chat and not play games. It seems weird doing it, I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, if you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up button, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, like I said, let me know what you thought. Do you think it sucks? Do you think Wildcard suck a big fat dick? Or do you think this event's pretty cool? Let me know, let me know. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.